Welcome to Fun Uber Games, a channel where you can win money and learn ways to make money. So I'm going to do a how-to video how to prove your chances on winning scratch-offs. And try to stay to the end because I'm going to really delve into how to calculate the odds uh, using uh, a ticket and the information on your uh, state's website. So in the beginning of this presentation, it's just more about some basic info. And then at the end of this slide are three ways I identified that can help actually improve your odds. Of, of winning. So my background, I was always really strong in math as a kid, and then I got my bachelor's and my uh, master's, my MBA. I worked on Wall Street for 13 years, and uh, I, I started a math educational franchise where I, where I run a business, and we um, te teach kids math. And um, so one thing I wanted to touch on is you never want to play with money you can't afford. You tend to lose when you need something and you're stressed out, like you need to pay a bill and you don't want to actually lose the money, but you still gamble with it. It never works. And you'll never win in the long run. Even if the first time you play, you hit a $10 million jackpot, if you keep playing, you're going to eventually run out of money because the odds are against you. But you may win in the short run. You should really be playing this game for fun and not to win or lose, but you may you can win in the short run. And superstitions mean nothing. If you like a particular store or the color of a ticket or a particular cashier, it means nothing. There's no math or odds that prove that's beneficial. And there's no assuming the odds on on the games I'm talking about are similar or the same. There's nothing that says you should play multiple games. I hear people say you should play three games and not the same game. It doesn't matter. They're all independent. Each ticket is independent from the others. And it doesn't matter how many tickets you play in one game. It doesn't matter if you play ten tickets in one game and one ticket from ten different games, assuming the odds are the same in the games. It doesn't matter on your benefiting your ch or improving your chances of winning. One thing, just hold losing tickets because some states like California have second chance lottos, lotto drawing, so you could actually win on losing tickets. And the only time, there's only two ways people really are winners. And some people claim, I, I, I understand things, so that's why I'm a winner. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. The only two reasons people tend to win more is the first one is just the odds dictate someone will win. If if you if a million people played one ticket from this lotto, one person probably is going to win a jackpot. It's just the odds, and that person doesn't know, have any more information. It's not that person's lucky. Well, they, they are lucky, but they, they, they didn't do anything any different to win. The odds just are going to say someone's going to win if enough tickets are played. And there are people who say, I won $10,000 more than five times, or I've won this and that. The only reason those people win is because they play so many tickets. So the odds are they're going to eventually win more than you because you play less tickets. Of course, they lose a lot more. And quit while you're ahead. If you win 50 bucks, you don't have to keep gambling till it's all gone because it eventually will be gone if you keep doing it and the only way to guarantee not to lose money is to not play that's that's a way to guarantee no loss and there's a this guy cash cody who um who finds tickets in in the garbage or places people throw them away and some people throw away winning tickets so that's a way you can win in a scr in scratch offs without spending any money and just to give you some information, on the back of a ticket, it usually has two odds. It says, for example, one in three. It says odds of winning any prize, one in three. And this includes all the tickets, including the free ticket. Because when you get a free ticket, they consider that they don't consider that cash, even though you get cash if you want. And the odds of winning cash prizes are one in four. It tends to be worse because it excludes a free ticket. And a free ticket is more free tickets than anything. So that's what those two numbers are. And I'm going to prove that out in my spreadsheet later so you can see how it ties it. I could tie it out to a real ticket. 
So these three ways I identified are ways to actually win, or not win, but improve your odds. If you know which tickets in a particular role will win as the losers, then you can improve your odds. You can't guarantee a win, but if you know, if there's a roll of 30 tickets and you know the first five are losers, you will have better odds from the next 25. If the, if the roll, if the tickets had one and three and the first five tickets were losers, you might bring your odds to one and 2.7 or something like that. You're not going to guarantee a win, but you'll improve if you have that information, which is hard to get unless you know someone who works at the convenience store or you work there yourself. Another way to, to improve your odds is look at the back of a ticket. If one ticket says one in four chances of winning any prize and the other ticket says one in five, the one in four ticket, you'll, you'll make more money if you play that. You'll lose less money, I should say, if you play that ticket than the other ticket. Of course, you could play the worst odds ticket and hit the jackpot. Anything's possible in, in independent trials in small samples. But in larger samples, the odds are play the better ticket, the ticket with the better odds. And the last thing, which I'm going to really delve into a lot, is um, check the your website, your state website, to see which ticket, how many tickets are outstanding and unclaimed, because that could also help you. And here, and I'm going to show you that right now. So the California website, this ticket, uh, Lucky Scratchers. Lucky Streak Scratchers, it's a $20 ticket, and it shows you the overall odds, and it's the same thing if you look in the back of the ticket. One in 3.05, the cash odds are one in 4.4. And this is handy, and I'll show you how to actually use this information. So it shows you all the prize levels and how many total winners and how many prizes claimed and how many prizes unclaimed. So this alone doesn't give you any information because I'll give you a quick example. Okay, if you know there's two grand prizes available, right? That doesn't mean that's better or worse than three grand prizes or one grand prize. Because what if I, what would you rather have? Two, two grand prizes out there and say there's 10 tickets out there. I understand that can't happen, but say there was 10 tickets and two grand prizes, 20% chance of grand prize. I'd rather have that then three grand prizes and a million tickets out there, right? So the number of prizes out, avail, outstanding doesn't mean anything. You have to apply that against how many tickets are out there. And we can do that pretty easily. And I'll show you how on this spreadsheet. So remember on a... Okay, let me show you the spreadsheet. <clears throat> so I took each prize level and, and it shows you the five million dollar prize level, and four winners, two two claimed, two unclaimed. So four total winners, five million dollar prize amount. Then twenty total winners of the hundred hundred thousand dollars. That's when it, when it first started the game. And you can see if you if you sum up all the total winners, and it's all on the site. It gives you the, the total the total winners for the game, there's 4 million tickets when it started that were winners. And you could find out how many tickets the game had when it started because it's it had four $5 million tickets. It, it told you that when it first started. And on, on the website, it said the odds of winning a $5 million ticket are one in three million. So if there were four tickets, all you have to do is take four times three million. And that's how many tickets there were. 12.1 million tickets. Up here, I wrote it. And you could do that with any level. If there were 20, $100,000 tickets and, of six, and the odds of winning a one in 600,000 just times that by 20, it's going to be 12.1 million. So that you can figure out how many total tickets pretty easily. So now you know the total number of winning tickets is 4 million and the total tickets is 12.1 million. So the total winners is 
33%. That's how many winners there are. One in three tickets are winners, regardless of the prize level, whether it be $20 or $5 million, one out of three will be a winner. So let me show you the, the odds. Remember here it said overall odds one in 3.05? So I could prove that's correct. So, so that means for every $305 you spend, you win 100 bucks. So it goes 100 over 305 equals 32.8%. So that's the payback for this game which I showed you up here. So every dollar you spend, you get 32.8 cents back if you've played every single ticket. So this just proves the odds are correct. It's really, really close. And if for some reason I'm not, it's not exact. I don't know why, but it's really close. I got 32.74, it's 32.8. So, so that's the overall odds. And then they do the cash odds, also 1 in 4.4, which excludes the free ticket. And the free ticket, there's 10% of them. 10% of the tickets are free, ticket winners. So if you subtract 10% from 32.74, you get 22.74, which is, which is the payback. And you could see that here, 100 over 440, because the odds are 4.4, it's 22.7. So that just proves out the odds are accurate. And this just helps you understand things better as well. Now, to go a little deeper, now you, you can prove which games are better values. There's no guaranteed winner games, but there's games to give, bring the odds closer to your favor. And this particular game, well, let me, the, the odds should not be in the odds are out of our favor and I'll show you why so we could figure out the actual prizes it pretty easily because they even say on their website when the game started there were four or five million dollar prizes so so it's 20 million dollars of grand prizes and then two million dollars of second place prizes so if you could sum all the prizes 192 million dollars in prizes And then, and this is where it gets a little complicated, but I'll explain it and feel free to talk in the comments and ask me if you have any questions. So I, I can calculate the expected what I expect the prizes to be out there, unclaimed. The way I do it is I take that 192 million of total prizes and I have to multiply it by the number of, the percent of tickets that are unclaimed. So if half the tickets have been, are out there in a the market, right? Roughly half of that $191 million is what I expect to be what I could win. So I was able to figure out, because there's, there's, they don't tell you how many tickets are out there. They just tell you how many of winning tickets are out there that haven't been claimed yet. So they say the easy one is the, the grand prize of the four total, there's two unclaimed. And they show you this prize available two out of four. So half of the unclaimed, half of the grand prizes are out there. And if you go look at this at each prize increment, and on the on the most common prize, the free ticket, 61.4% have been unclaimed which is just 742,000 unclaimed of a 1.2 million total. And they even they have that on their site. 
742 unclaimed, 1.2 million total. So 61.4% of the free tickets are out there for someone to get. So the overall for all the tickets of the unclaimed tickets is 61.1% of the unclaimed tickets are out there that that still can be won by us. So I can I think we can assume and it should be really close that the total tickets out there in the market are also 61.1% one percent so there's I think that's a pretty good assumption so if I assume that 61 percent of the tickets have been unscratched still on the shelves that means that if I take the total number of prizes overall times the unscratched tickets 192 million times 61.1 percent that equals 117.3 million. That's how many, how much money I expect can be earned from this game based off of the information I have. But I know the actual prizes out that remain because they tell you on the website there's 10 million of the grand prize because there's two left. And I sum all the prizes out there. There's 117.2 million actual, actual that, that uh, the website tells us that still has that still is unclaimed. So, using this information, I can deduce that that the number of actual prizes out there is less than what I expect. So therefore, we shouldn't play the game. It's really really close. So this is kind of like a not as not as much of a difference as that would change the odds much. But let me just show you, remember how it, the website said there's two unclaimed grand prizes? Say the website said there's three. Look at the actual prizes. The actual prize jumps up five million because there's another grand prize out there. So based off of the information, we should definitely play this game because the actual prizes out there are much are a good amount larger than what we expect there to be. Because there's seventy five percent of the grand prizes are out there and sixty one percent of the tickets have been actually played. So the odds aren't going to ever get to where we could win, guaranteed. But the overall, if, if there were three unclaimed grand prizes, the overall odds would benefit us more now. We would go more in our favor, I should say. When it first came out, when nobody touched the ticket, it was 1 in 3.05. Now, if, if, there, if, if this was the case, there was three unclaimed, it would be maybe 1 in 2.9 or something like that. It would bounce closer to our favor. So still I think I just I don't look at this stuff too much. I just play for fun. But if you want to really delve into it and and increase your odds, you can using all this information. And I know I got pretty deep into the spreadsheet and I'm pretty sure it's accurate, but feel free to eat uh to write in the comments if you think something's off or you have another spin on it. I'd love to hear it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.